questions so we are going to discuss about equilibrium solutions so right now just before we discuss about autonomous differential equations where we have our function f which is equal to dy over dx is depends on y explicitly right depends on only on dependent variable okay so equilibrium solution means what we do is we make this f equal to zero in an autonomous differential equation okay so what we get is okay this function f is equal to zero now what we do is we solve this equation because this is an equation right so we solve for y values and we find this y value that makes y values that makes f zero we solve for y in other words so this y values we call them equilibrium solutions now here's the thing so by making f is equal to zero implicitly okay implicitly means dy over dx equal to zero right because if f is zero f is equal to dy over dx that means dy over dx is zero right because f is zero so the y values the y values that makes f zero are the same y values that makes dy over dx zero i think that's pretty clear from here so those y values make dy over dx zero means what is dy over dx that's rate of change right so o dy over dx equal to zero means how are the tangents lines going to look like they're going to be horizontal right so they are the zero slopes so you will get horizontal tangents line when dy over dx is equal to zero so that means those y values you solve here found here are the exactly the y values that produce tangent uh, horizontal tangent lines okay all right so let's see some examples so dy over dx here dy over dx is equal to y square minus 3y so now f is y square minus 3y so let's make it equal to 0 now let's solve for y well we can factor a y so then we get y times y minus 3 is equal to 0 okay so then what are the y values that make this equation 0 y is equal to 0 from here right and y is equal to 3 right so at these two values 0 and 3 you get dy over dx 0 because f which is y square minus 3y is 0 so 0 and 3 are the equilibrium solution so y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 3 are the equilibrium solutions so we have two equilibrium solutions okay all right so then what does that means so graphically y is equal to 0 means this x axis right so along that x axis you will have horizontal tangent lines and when y is equal to 3 it's like here y is equal to 3 so here you will have horizontal tangent line so that is what it means zero slopes okay so now this equilibrium solutions really help us to sketch a, a slope field very easily so let's see how so we have this differential equation let's say dy over dx is equal to y times y plus 2 times y minus 5 so to find equilibrium solutions we make this equal to 0 okay and then it's obvious that y is equal to 0 from here y is equal to negative 2 from here and y is equal to 5 from here will make this left hand side 0 right so these three are the equilibrium solutions okay so let's graph them so y is equal to 0 means you will have zero slopes um yep horizontal tangents line at y is equal to 0 and y is equal to negative 2 also you will have horizontal tangents lines and y is equal to 5 here you will have horizontal tangents line okay fine now how about in other regions now look at this when we draw those equilibrium solutions those every ta horizontal tangent lines it divided our uh, slope field into several regions region 1 region 2 region 3 region 4 now let's see what happens in each region so 
the real interesting thing is you can take a point let's look at what happens in region one you can take a, any point in region one and substitute it here and see what happens so any y value that's greater than five let's say ten so when y is 10 see what happens to dy over dx that means what is the sign is it positive negative or zero it shouldn't be zero is it positive or negative so when y is 10 well here it's positive because 10 is a positive number 10 plus 2 is a positive number we do not care about the value okay 10 minus 5 is a positive number so positive number times positive number times positive number when y is equal to 10 all together you get a positive number so here when y is equal to 10 you have a positive slope that means slopes that are look like this because those are the slopes that look like these are the positive slopes so the whole region behave in that way you have positive slopes that's what happens so a one tiny single point in that region decide what happens in that whole region okay all right so let's see what happens in between 0 and 5 take a number 2 okay so when y is 2 it's a positive 2 plus 2 it's a positive 2 minus 5 that's negative so positive times positive is a positive number positive number times a negative number output will be negative so here the dy over dx is negative that means slopes going downwards like this so the whole region will have this type of slopes okay all right so let's take another uh, region so here from 0 to negative 2 let's say like negative 1 okay negative 1 so y negative 1 so if you substitute y is equal to negative 1 this will be negative negative 1 plus 2 will be positive be careful negative 1 minus 5 will be negative now negative number times positive number is negative that negative number times this negative is negative negative positive so here dy over dx is positive so you will have slopes in the whole region that look like Posit, uh, tangent lines that have positive slopes that are moving upward right so this shape okay all right so now let's go to the final region so you have to do it for all the regions okay so that's how you draw a rough sketch of a slope field okay in this kind of special autonomous differential equations so a number less than negative 2 in this region will be negative 10 for example so why negative 10 here negative negative 10 plus 2 is negative negative 10 minus 5 is also negative 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 positive here positive times negative is negative so in this region dy over dx is negative so slopes are negative so you will have slopes shape like this uh, tangent lines shape like this not slopes yeah okay so that is how we sketch a slope field when you have an autonomous differential equation you find those um, equilibrium solutions first you mark those horizontal uh, tangent lines then it will create different regions and in each region you pick up a point and substitute into the differential equation and you um, check for sign and depending on that sign it decide the whole region how the whole region behaves uh, the tangent line behaves in that whole region okay so yeah so that is how we use equilibrium solutions we will use them more when we go on to applications okay all right so that's it thank you very much